welcome to another episode of Watt Single Track. And today we are going to be going over the Pagode T4. Uh, as my experience being a V1 first batch buyer, and we will go over the ins and the outs of the wheel and everything that you could potentially expect. I just got to give a huge shout out to my sponsors, Bradley and Lucas, up in Canada at Evie's. And my other sponsor, Bob Stoke Shop, which is a PEV repair shop down in the Bay Area of California. So as many of you have probably seen off of my channel at this point, I uh, do really like Bagode wheels quite a bit. Um, they've heavily influenced my riding style and the type of rider that I've become. So I do love Bagode wheels, but they do come with a caveat and uh, this video is a prime example. And my experience with the T4 all the way from the V1 up to the V2 and then eventually I have to make some repairs and I should have the V3 but that should say a little bit in general. So coming from the Bagode Master, um, the T4, I before I even took it out of the box, I kind of felt like I was going to be underwhelmed by it and that it wasn't really going to be that great of a wheel just because I was kind of convinced that you need to at least be on a 14 inch rim like RS, the S22. Uh, anyway, I wasn't really a huge fan of 16 inch wheels uh, because there wasn't really anything out there that excited me or that suited my riding style. Uh, so when I did get the T4, um, my very, very first experience 50 feet out of the box, hit a little tabletop at the Amped Electric Games out at the bike park when we got in at about 11.30, boom. Hall sensor error got ended up with a slip stator. So I had to wait quite a while to get some V2 parts, which was the upgraded control board and the new QS motor. And that is what you are seeing in these videos here. The T4 really did exceed and shine. It, it actually, I should say, it far exceeded my expectations, especially comparing it to a master. Um, I really wasn't sure if it was gonna be able to handle the high torque braking scenarios uh, that I run into on riding like this because I put a lot of weight leaning back into the tire. And this is a C30 motor, which Again, I don't really like. I think the GOAT should have put a C38 in it, but then it would have suffered from a lot lower top speed. So they went with the C30 route, which at the end of the day seems okay. Um, I'm hitting this exact same trail that I ride my master on at the same exact speeds, and it, it handles the torque from the braking um, which does put a huge amount of stress on the controller. So I was really, really uh, surprised at the T4 once I did get it working right. And uh, it just continued to make me smile as I went down the trail. And I kind of wanted to look at what was next. What, what else could I do if the master could do it? Could I take the T4 and do it? And long story short, uh, the answer is yes, and maybe so. This is the area in general that I take wheels when I want to test them out and or potentially break them. Um, it just seems like this place eats up control boards, rims, motors. I, I've blown a lot of stuff out here. Uh, but the T4 eventually did succumb to being out here at Mammoth Bar, but in the short term, um, it's a fantastic wheel, and to be honest, it's actually my favorite trail wheel to ride. Like, if I could pick from my RS, my Hero, my Master, the T4, I would pick the T4 
every single time if the trail is less than 20 miles long because the T4 battery isn't good much past about 20, 20 miles. I mean, you can ride it to about 23 to 24 miles of riding trails like this, but you're gonna be babying it. But the T4 really does shine and excel at trail riding like this. And considering that's solely all that I do on EUCs, um, that this, that's why I just, I, it, this wheel kind of leaves me speechless. I just, I love the suspension of it. The torque of it is actually really good for being a C30. I think that's because it's on the 16 inch rim. Um, and the 16 inch rim seems super durable. Um, I run 45 PSI. I do that on all of my wheels just because of the terrain I ride. Um, but I've had really good success with the rim so far and the knobby tire. And I've just, I really do enjoy it taking it down trails that I didn't think a small 16 inch wheel could handle. But the T4 tackles everything that I've thrown at it. So now I'm gonna kinda go into the trail that I take a wheel to test the suspension. Uh, it's a very short trail. It's only 0.9 of a mile, so basically a mile. Uh, it's called Rocky and it's very appropriately named. Um, this, is a, this is a really difficult trail, uh, even on a master or a, what I consider a full-size wheel. But the T4 suspension is its tits. It's perfect, it couldn't be better. Um, the master had big problems with bottoming out. Um, even when I was running like 400 PSI in my master, I could still bottom it out. Um, in my T4 right here, I'm running, I think, 260 PSI, maybe 280. Um, and that's like, this thing is rock solid for me as a rider. These are really big drops through some of these. Um, and I've done drops upwards of four feet on the trail. Um, and I have never once bottomed out my T4. Uh, so, I think that's a really big contributing factor to why I say this is my favorite trail wheel. Um, just watch it eat up these rocks for a little bit. Yeah, that's just the excitement from being able to ride that trail end to end without stepping off. But here's the next trail that I take a wheel on, and this trail really tests a wheel's uh, pedal clip ability, or I'm not quite sure how I'd word it, but th this trail is notorious for pedal clipping uh, because of very deep ruts and big rocks. These are dirt bike trails, so they're not quite made for bikes or EUCs, but that hasn't really stopped me or my friends from going out and riding on them. But this trail is great for testing pedal clips and really the agility of the wheel, or how easy is it on the rider to throw it around on the trail. Um, you know, pound for pound, the power to weight ratio, um, how does it feel? I personally love the T4. It literally reminds me of my RS in terms of its size package um, and power output, I would say is right on par with it just because of the smaller rim and the high output board. But 
it's so much more nimble than the RS. I can ride the sides of the hills and you just have such precise control. Um, it's a really fantastic wheel for riding single track like this where every inch counts which way you go, left or right, over the rock, through the rock, around the rock. It all matters, but the T4 can take either which way. It's, it's basically just almost a perfect wheel for single track. But then again, nothing in this world is perfect. And if we all know Bagoge's track record, they are far from it. And we'll get into that in a little bit. Overall, I think that this is my favorite wheel for a lot of factors. Um, it definitely has things that I think could be improved upon or changed. Uh, but overall, it's a super agile wheel. Um, it's very easy on the rider to throw it around the mountain. Um, you know, or if you lose it over the side of the mountain and your tether stops it, you got to pull it back up the hill. Um, it's a lot lighter than the master. So that part is super awesome because that happens to me quite a bit. So it's just kind of part of the game when you're out here riding stuff like this. But this wheel, it's just, it does the job every time. Every trail that I've taken it on, that I've taken the master on, this thing tackles the trail, but I actually have more fun on this wheel. Um, it just puts more of a smile on my face, so that's why I pick it to ride. But at the same time, it does have that issue that I had mentioned in the beginning, where I've had a not-so-pleasant experience with the T4. And, well, let's just say we all know Bagot has had issues here and there in the past. Um, and I've never really hated on Bagot. Um, I've had a bad experience with King Song in the past. That's why I moved to Bagot. Uh, but I personally had never experienced a cutout or a product malfunction where something dropped me due to no fault of the rider. But after a year and a half, uh, almost two years of riding, that eventually caught up with me and the T4 bit me. And I did get dropped by my T4 and experienced a pretty nasty cutout, which did really, uh, it, it definitely hurt and set me back quite a bit mentally. I'm gonna show a slow-mo clip of the cutout then I will show the entire ride from the top of the hill that happened uh, that led up to the cutout. And we will end it with one more clip of the cutout. Uh, but this one was really 110% no fault of the rider, um, but solely a product malfunction. And uh, it definitely was an eye-opener. We'll just finish this trail out. All right, and this is going to be the cutout right here. just locked up so you just saw the video of the cutout uh, where the T4 just straight dropped my ass it, it dropped me uh, and it made a really nasty noise um, and I, I don't know how to describe the noise but it did not sound right as the rider um, the control board area made a really loud noise, almost with the motor, kind of that gurring noise or whatever it was. Um, 
there was nothing that got jammed or stuck in the tire. Uh, I've gotten a jammed tire before and I've blown a board like that, but, and I've also got that on video. But when that happens, the tire stops immediately. Uh, my tire continued to spin. It just slowly lost power. Um, not really slowly, it's just more or less like a light switch lost power. But right as I felt the pedals dip, I heard that noise. And I, it, it happened so fast, there wasn't anything I could do. Um, so this crash right here really set me back mentally quite a bit um, and I'm trying to get back into the swing of things uh, I do need to send my T4 out for repairs I need to get the batteries repaired because this crash ruined two BMS's uh, as well as the main board and the charging board so yes I love the T4 uh, would I recommend it? Uh, hopefully, I guess, I'm the only one that's experienced this. I haven't seen any others. So if I just got a fluke and a bad board, yeah, I 110% recommend this wheel. Uh, but having a cutout like that due to no fault of the rider will really make you think twice. So again, I love the wheel. Oh yeah. Um, board's no good it, it's a fantastic wheel it's super fun that locked up uh, but it's also the first wheel to cut out on me and drop me at speed uh right in the middle of the yeah. rock He's garden done. and it, it's, it's gonna be a long feel, uh, walk out of here so i'm gonna need you to go back one and more time and pour and uh yeah good thing i got go a spare control like board and subscribe and you leave should have a all comment that on below. video That just locked up.